Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Have you ever wanted to be a mage in Valheim? Maybe a berserker? Well, I found a mod called Valheim Legends that gives you the option to choose up to 12 different classes to play. All you'll need is the corresponding item to sacrifice at the first boss altar. So after you do your first sacrifice, it's going to give you three new abilities. Um, they'll appear on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Um, they have default key bindings of Z, X, and C. For me, this caused a little bit of a problem because I do use equipment and quick slots. I also use the uh, debug mode and the fly is also bound under Z. So I wanted to change those. So after you install and log in for the first time, it's going to create a config file. So log in. Just for a second, log back out, close the game. Then you're going to want to find wherever your Bippin folder is stored on your computer. Go into that, go down to config, scroll down till you find Valheim Legends, open that up. When I opened it for the first time, it asked which program I wanted to open with. Uh, just choose Notepad. Scroll down till you find Keybinds, which is here. So it shows you that your ability one is currently bound to Z. So here's where you're going to want to change it to wherever you want your binding, your new binding to be. Um, under that, it also gives you the option to do a combination key. So holding two buttons at the same time. I did a lot of healing in WoW. So keyboard plus mouse push um, is easier for me instead of trying to reach all over my keyboard for a million different keybinds. So I'm going to switch my first ability. I want to use mouse button zero, which is left click. My combo key is going to be left shift. Now, if you don't want to have a combo key, just leave this blank. After you change them, make sure to go up and save your file. And then you can go ahead and close this out. Then once back inside the game, you'll notice that your uh, key bindings have changed to whatever you set them to. All right, let's go through the classes. First up, we have Mage. You're going to need Coal in order to switch to Mage. All right, the Mage's abilities are Fireball, which creates a ball of fire above the caster that arts towards the caster's location. It's got a 12 second CD. Frost Nova. A point blank area of effect frost damage that slows victims for a short period of time. And it's got a 20 second CD. Ooh. Kind of makes them frosty there. You can see the effect on them. Meteor channels energy to call down a meteor storm on the target area. And this has a 180 second CD. Let's see if I can group these guys together. Next, we have Metavoker. You're going to need raspberries. So first ability is light, creates a light that follows the caster and illuminates a large area. That might be useful for dungeons. Once you have the light, if you use it again, it basically becomes a projectile. So next is Replica, bends light and energy to create a reinforced illusion of every nearby enemy. Next we have Warp, collects the energy of the caster and projects it at a target location. Any excess energy is released at the exit point. Then we have Monk. 
you use wood or you sacrifice wood. Wood uses chi instead of stamina, and in order to build up your chi, you're gonna have to be unarmed. If you look at the top right under monk, it shows you a number of how many stacks you have. They seem to fall off after uh, 10 seconds. So the first ability takes three. Flying pit. Projects condensed energy and detonates on impact and that takes five chi. Next up we have priest which uses coal. So our first ability is Sanctify. It calls down the fiery hammer of Ragnarok. Purify the target area. And it's an AoE with a 45 second cooldown. What I did learn about this when I was protecting my base and I was playing around with this, the AoE does uh, damage buildings. And uh, unfortunately it took out a good chunk of my farm as well, so. Next, we have Purge. Release a burst of power around the caster that burns enemies and heals allies. It's got a 15 second cooldown. And then last, we have Heal. It's a channeled ability that increases heal rate the longer it's channeled. So if you do hold the buttons down, it will continue to channel for as long as you have the stamina. Okay, then we have Rogue. You're gonna need honey. All right, first is Poison Bomb. You throw a vial of poison. Then you've got Fade that returns the Rogue to the previous point and adds a supply to Bag of Tricks. And then backstab. Instantly move behind the target and strike a critical blow. Then we have Shaman. Uh, Great Dwarf Eyes. Go oh, in Rage. Incite allies into a frenzies, frenzied rage and increases movement and endurance. So it's basically like a buff. And then shell. Surround allies in a protective shell that resists elemental attacks. And then spirit shock. Generates a powerful blast that shocks all nearby enemies. Right, then Valkyrie. You're going to need flint. We got bulwark which manifests a powerful shield that reduces all damage to the Valkyrie. Stagger, send forth a shockwave that staggers all nearby enemies. And then leap, leap high into the air and come crashing down on your enemies. We have Druid, which uses Dandelion. The first is Regeneration, which applies a heal over time to the caster and their allies. Then Nature's Defense calls upon nature to defend an area. It sounds like bees or bugs and roots. And then vines, creates vines that grow at an alarming speed. All right, now we have Duelist, which uses Thistle. First we have Hipshot, fires a high velocity projectile from a concealed mechanical contraption. Okay. 
Repose turns the energy of an attack into a devastating counterattack. And then Seismic Slash, a combat technique that compresses energy and releases it in a tight arc as a razor thin burst. Oh. Well, something was strong. It beat out this rock. I didn't even notice which one that is. Right. Enchanter uses resin. We have weaken. Weakens all enemy in the target area. You can see the little green glowing on it. Charm, turn enemies into allies for a short time. And then zone charge renders a unique long lasting boon to all allies that differs in each biome. So in the meadows, health regen every five seconds. In the black forest, carry capacity increased by 50. Um, in the swamp, poison resistance increased by 20%. Mountain, frost resistance increased by 20%. In the plains, fire resistance increased by 20%. Also, run speed increased by 10%. Ocean, lightning resistance increased by 20 And swim speed increased. Mist lens. Spirit and frost resistance increased by 20, and additional frost damage, and then the ashlands, fire and poison resist by 20, and additional fire damage. The enchanter may burn an active zone buff, buff by pressing the ability button while the zone buff is active. This creates a burst of electric energy from the caster's hands that deals damage based on the time remaining on the buff. Then we have Berserker, which uses Bone Frags. So, execute, empower the next several physical attacks to deal extra damage. And Berserk, sacrifice health to increase movement, speed, attack, power, remove stamina, regen, delay, and gain renewed energy through combat. Dash. Dash forward in a blink of an eye, cutting through enemies on your way. And last we have Ranger, which uses raw meat. A shadow stalk. Fade into the shadows, gaining a burst of speed and augmented stealth. Shadow stalk causes enemy to lose track of the Ranger. Shadow Wolf, call a trained Shadow Wolf to fight by your side. Shadow Wolves will vanish when the player logs out or after the duration expires. Feeding the Shadow Wolf restore its health by 250. Alright, and then Power Shot. Charge the next few projectiles with great velocity and damage. They kill my wolf. All right, and that's a little description of uh, each of the classes that you can do. Also, I forgot to mention earlier on that they do give you new skills to level up, and whichever class you are, um, their spill their abilities become stronger as you level these up, just like um, the regular skills in game. I haven't fully tried out all of them. I'm still trying to figure out which ones I like best, but I think it kind of gives the game a fresh new way to play it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.